Here's a story from March 25th, Doubting Thomas. It was evening. Jesus' disciples sat together in a room with the door closed. Perhaps they were talking about what had happened that morning, for it was then that the great stone had been rolled away from the tomb of Jesus. Had he really come forth from the dead, they wondered? Then Jesus came into the room where the disciples sat. He showed them that he was living. They saw his hands where the nails had been and where it had fastened him to the cross. They knew it was really Jesus and they were glad. One of the other disciples named Thomas was not with the others that evening when they saw Jesus. They could hardly wait to tell him the glad news. Jesus was no longer dead. He was living and he had talked to them. Thomas did not believe it. Even when his friends told him that they had seen Jesus' hands, he still did not think it could be true. I will not believe it unless I see him myself, said Thomas, unless I touch the nail prints on his hands and put my finger in his side where the spear was thrust. Eight days passed by. Again, the disciples were meeting together. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came and stood in their midst. He turned to Thomas and said, Look at my hands. Reach and touch the nail prints in them. Put your hand in my side. Thomas answered, My Lord and my God. He knew now that this was truly Jesus who had died on the cross. Jesus has risen from the dead as he had told his disciples that he would do. Now Thomas was glad with the others. And I'm glad too. And I'm glad that you're here. And I'd be glad if you went to bed. So go get some rest and have sweet dreams. And always remember, I love you and God loves you too. Bye-bye.